Heartbroken. I don't know what else you can say. It is perhaps the most controversial 23 acres in all of San Diego. But tonight, despite the objections of hundreds of people, the city council did approve the 600 condos and shops in Carmel Valley known as one Paseo. People started lining up at 7 a.m. for a decision that was made less than two hours ago. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is live downtown where the decision was made. Emily. Kimberly, I've been covering city council meetings for quite a long time. I have never seen anything like this. Okay, these are the speaker forms people have to fill out if they want to say something. And I can tell you they had to print off quite a few of them. One after the other after the other for five hours stood up and gave the council members a piece of their mind about this development. I'm heartbroken. I don't know what else you can say. Hundreds of people who live in Carmel Valley devastated tonight after the San Diego City Council gave the thumbs up to this massive 23 acre one Paseo development. They think it's too big and it's going to cause massive traffic jams. <sighs> Some people wearing these red shirts feel like they fought City Hall and lost. Well, a little bit. The council voted 7 to 2 to approve the plan shown in this animated rendering. It includes 600 condos, retail shops, and 10 story office buildings, all on Del Mar Heights Road. I voted against the project because I just think it's too big for where they want to build it. The vote came after a marathon, five hour public comment session with about 100 speakers. Goods fit, and I wanted to like to see it in Carmel Valley. Developers say it will bring jobs, stores, and convenience closer to the people in Carmel Valley. It's easy to bike and it's easy to walk, which is really great. And here inside the city council meetings tonight, they added an amendment that 10% of the units, 60 of them, must be affordable housing. Also, there was a Trader Joe's that was going to go in, but it's been taking so long that they dropped out of the project. I'm live in downtown San Diego, Emily Valdez, 10 News.